What's going on, Aces? Welcome back to the channel. I hope that all of you guys are having an amazing day. It is a rainy Thursday, so wherever you are, I hope that you are somewhere warm, safe, and dry. So I caught the Tasha K interview with Martel Holt, and I wanted to share my thoughts on a few things. So initially, Funky Doniva said that Martel reached out to him to do an interview, but he realized he just wanted to bash, you know, his ex-wife, Melody Cherie, Rogers now instead of Holt. Um, congratulations and shout out to her. She's definitely doing her thing on her Instagram channel and with her company. So while she's thriving and building her business, he is spiraling and essentially tearing down the mother of his four children. And it's it's sad, but also this is a very dangerous man. And one thing I will say that I agree with Funky about um, he said that, you know, people have got a hold of this word narcissist and narcissism, and, and it's been overused and applied a lot of places where it doesn't necessarily need to be, you know, applied, right? It's not applicable to the situation or the person. But Funky points out, and I agree with him in this particular situation, that Martel Holt um, I'm not a psychologist, so I'm not going to try to diagnose him through the screen, but I will say this, because I have studied psychology extensively for several years, and according to the DSM-5, the Diagnostic um, Statistical Manual, right, um, he, a lot of the traits, the character traits that he shows definitely align with the same criteria as malignant narcissism. He's not just a classic narcissist, in my opinion. A lot of the things that he says align with someone who has or is a malignant narcissist. And I know a few. They are very dangerous. I feel like Donald Trump is one. He's been diagnosed by, by those who are psychologists as a malignant narcissist. And what sets them apart is that there is a level of... Um, I'm trying, to, I'm trying to think of a different word than like sadism or inflicting pain upon those who are you're close with for pleasure. And if you guys have another word, please let me know. But he is going out of his way to essentially tear down Melody. Like everything that she's building, it's not just for herself. He's acting like, you know, this is not a woman that he was married to for well i think they said 14 years and even dating in college this he's acting like this is not the mother of his four children <clears throat> but the thing that sets a malignant narcissist apart from a classic narcissist and they're bad enough but i feel like he is seriously deriving some kind of sick twisted pleasure from you know um doxing her and i'll get to that in a minute because that's the message on the right is from her manager um the revenge p you know going reaching out to funky and now sitting down with tasha k to essentially try to destroy her character it's like you know your children are gonna see this speaking of his children you know he kept referring to his youngest of the four you know her nickname is sugar mama beautiful little girl but he kept saying things like just digs like oh you know she looks like you know melody and essentially that wouldn't be a dig except if you guys remember from earlier seasons uh, seasons miss wanda was questioning the paternity of you know his youngest daughter and so he was essentially you know kind of giving backhanded comments about how you know he wasn't sure if she was his or not this is your child. This is a baby, the youngest of the four. I'm so glad that Melody is someone who has, you know, um, she has common sense that she's a, a good mother. And because it just, it blows my mind how hateful and spiteful and immature Martel is. Like he's not only trying to hurt his ex-wife, the mother of his four kids, and his four children, but also himself, him going after Carlos King, 
Like that's your boss. Like is you like what? You know what I mean? Him 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 sitting down with Tasha. Like instead of trying to build your business, right? Instead of trying to focus on, you know, finally earning that um, builder's license, because we know now that Melody was obviously the brains of that relationship, but he is so obsessed with what she's doing now, putting out these, um, these videos from years past where she's destroying, you know, um, the things in the house and just material BS over money, like she, he took, I think $150,000, which that's a lot of money, a substantial amount of money. That's, that's, that's your kid's college fund. You know what I mean? Like he's just, he is someone who is so unserious and that mess might've been cute in your teens and twenties, but sir, you were in your forties getting arrested for, you know, DV and, um, threatening messages, third degree messages. And I made an earlier video about that. You guys can check that out. But I'm just, <sighs> Martel is a dangerous man. Like it, it goes beyond, you know, narcissists they are focused on themselves. They center themselves. They're, they're like, you know, Karens. And he's a male version of that. But he's, he takes it a step further, trying to actively harm her. Speaking of, let's go ahead and get to the message that um, one of the staff members that works for Melody put out, I believe it was her manager. She said, thank you for all the outpouring of concern and letting me know that my client has been doxxed by her ex-husband by exposing her address. Trust me, the attorneys, and yes, that's with an S, are on it. Please send me any other evidence of this horrendous act. How dare he expose and compromise the safety of their children, the Eminem kids, shaking my head. What kind of person, what kind of father endangers, you, that's, that's, that's child endangerment right there. That's a felony, sir. He needs to be seriously, if he's not in some kind of facility, he needs to be evaluated. He needs therapy ASAP, like not sitting down with Tasha K or Colin Funky. No, you need to be sitting down with a psychiatrist. And I would say that's a step further than, um, than Dr. Francis. Because even when he was talking with Dr. Francis, he looked that psycho he looked that man dead in his eye and told him that our Arian Curry is a peasant. This woman has been with you for years. Years. Okay, been pregnant multiple times, got rid of several pregnancies before eventually giving you, blessing you with a child that, and not everybody should be parents. Obviously, this is exhibit A, because why are you doxing your children's mother? Are you psycho? I'm trying to keep it YouTube friendly, y'all. I just, I'm like, to me, like you already know you're a public figure. His claim to fame is that he's the only cast member. <laughs> Born in Huntsville, Alabama. Boy, if you don't get Huntsville, that's that's it. No, he put he he doxed his own family because at the end of the day, despite the fact that you and Melody are divorced, that is the mother of your children. That is the caretaker that your children need because I promise you, Martel, you are not adequate to raise those children by yourself or with Arian because the decisions that you guys have made are questionable at best, but they are dangerous. That is dangerous. I'm glad that she has a team of attorneys, okay? And I hope that he covers those attorney fees, but I really hope, I'm serious. I think that this, this, goes beyond the revenge peace stuff. This goes beyond the text message stuff. This is putting your children, your children, sir, in, in, in danger. That's child endangerment. That's a felony. And beside it being criminal, it's, it's despicable. 
you're putting your own children's safety in harm's way. And for what? For spite? For clout? Um, he's he's definitely spiraling and he needs some kind of help, care, something. You guys drop down in the comments. Let me know your thoughts. Um, I really, you know, keep the Eminem kids and Melody Sheree lifted up in prayer. I'm glad that she has the support that she needs. Um, I hope that she can move soon to another location since he blew up their spot, endangered their kids, putting their information on like I that just blows my mind. You endangered your own kids to try to hurt Melody. That's a sick Negro. Like that, you are a sick individual, in my opinion. These are my thoughts, you guys. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Please be sure to like, share, and subscribe to the channel if you have not done so already. And I will talk with you in the next one. Take care, Aces. Bye.